we are asked to write the given quadratic function in vertex form. Notice right now the quadratic function is in general form. To write the function from general form to vertex form, we will determine the vertex of the parabola using this formula here. Once we determine the vertex, this will give us h and k in vertex form, and the value of a in vertex form is the same as the value of a in general form. Let's begin by determining the values of a, b, and c, where a is the coefficient of x squared, and therefore a is equal to negative one, b is the coefficient of x, which is five, and c is the constant term, which is two. Now we determine the equation of the axis of symmetry, given by the equation x equals negative b divided by two a, where b is positive five and a is negative one, which gives us negative five divided by two times negative one, which simplifies to negative five divided by negative two, which equals positive five halves. Let's leave the x-coordinate of the vertex in fraction form rather than convert to a decimal. So now we know the vertex of the parabola has an x-coordinate of five halves. And remember, the x-coordinate of the vertex in vertex form gives us the value of h, and the y-coordinate gives us the value of k. To determine k, or the y-coordinate of the vertex, we need to evaluate the quadratic function at x equals five halves, or determine the function value f of five halves. Performing substitution, we have negative, and then the square of five halves, plus five times five halves, plus two. Simplifying, the square of five halves is 25 fourths, but then we have this negative sign here giving us negative 25 fourths. Multiplying here, we can write the five as a fraction with the denominator of one, which gives us plus 25 halves. And we have plus two, let's write plus two as plus two over one. To determine the sum, we need to determine the least common denominator, which is four. To write 25 halves as an equivalent fraction, with the denominator of four, we multiply the numerator and denominator by two, and to write two over one as equivalent fraction, with the denominator of four, we multiply the numerator and denominator by four. Notice now we do have a common denominator of four, and the numerator is negative 25, plus 25 times two is 50, plus two times four is eight. Simplifying the numerator, negative 25 plus 50 is positive 25 plus eight is 33. We now know the function value f of five halves is 33 fourths, which once again gives us the y-coordinate of the vertex. Now that we know the vertex and we know a is equal to negative one, we can write the quadratic function in vertex form. In vertex form we have f of x equals a, which is negative one, times the quantity x minus h squared gives us the quantity x minus five halves squared, and then plus k gives us plus 33 fourths. To simplify, we normally drop the one here and just write the function as f of x equals negative, or the opposite of the quantity x minus five halves squared plus 33 fourths. Before we go, let's verify these results graphically. If we graph the quadratic function in vertex form, the parabola looks like this. Notice how the vertex is five halves comma 33 fourths, which is the vertex we found using the general form. And because a is negative one, notice how the parabola does open down. One more thing we should recognize is that the value of c does give us the vertical intercept. Notice how c equals positive two, and the graph does intersect the vertical axis at zero comma two. This should make sense because to determine the vertical intercept, we said x equal to zero, or determine the function value f of zero, which would be equal to positive two. I hope you found this helpful.